The Start Menu Start Menu forms the most basic and important button, as it forms the gateway to access the programs, documents, folders, files, hard drives, and other setting options. Click on the Start Menu. A big pop-up appears, and you will see the set of options displayed. At the top of the pop-up, the user account name, or the login person's name and the picture, will also be displayed. Below it, you will see Internet connections are pinned in default. You can also remove or pin up more programs for fast and easy access. If you want to pin the program, select the All Programs and choose the WordPad from Accessories. Right-click the WordPad and a pop-up appears. Select Pin to Start menu and then the WordPad is also listed here. Then you will see a list of programs here, which will change the order of the arrangement as per the usage of the programs. The right side of the pop-up consists of My Documents, which stores the documents, files, and folders, and can access them. We will discuss the properties later. Then My Recent Documents, where Recently Used Documents, will be listed. My Pictures stores and organizes the pictures and image files. Likewise, My Music stores the music and video files. My Computer organizes the hard disk drives, files, folders, and removable storage devices. My Computer is the eye of Windows XP as it is the major player. In My Computer you can see the C colon as local drive, where your software and program dumps are stored. In other drives we can store the programs, files, documents, and folders. Next is My Network Places, where the network of the system is connected. Below we have a few options like Control Panel, Set Programs Access and Defaults, Printer and Faxes, Help, and Support. They will be discussed in detail in later lessons. The Search option is used to find a file, documents, or folders from any drive or in the system. The Run option is used to open the applications, software, and programs using the keywords. For instance, to open the Word application, type WinWord in the Run option and press Enter. Then the Word application opens. Likewise, you can open any application through this option to save time and searching. You can change the look of the Start menu by right-clicking on it and a pop-up appears. Select the Properties and Task Bar and Start Menu Properties dialog box opens. In the dialog box there will be two tabs, Task Bar and Start Menu. We will discuss the Task Bar tab later. Now let's see the Start Menu tab. There will be two options, Start Menu and Classic Start Menu option. The Classic Start Menu option is nothing but the same appearance as the earlier version. To customize the Start Menu, select the Start Menu option, then the Customize button will get highlighted. When you click on it, then Customize the Start Menu dialog box opens. If you're comfortable with the options, then select it and click Apply and OK. Now we've gone through the Start Menu and in the upcoming lessons, let's explore more in Windows XP.